Hello guys, um, today I'm bringing you full point that I got out of playing the open beta that I think will kill the division for me or do kill the division for me. A little disclosure, I love games like Diablo, I love games like Borderlands and I don't really see a problem with them. I love how the guns feel, I love how this all plays out. I also play Warframe lately, but I tested the Division beta and I had the feeling that it just did not feel right. It's I did go into the beta uh, or playing the beta without any hype or any kind of expectation I just knew the the setting the first thing I found disturbing was just that you started level 4 but I assume that's because of the beta and they don't want to spoil the story and I think the f first three level you do the, um, story missions so that's fine with me but the real problem uh, first I think the setting um, in a kind of real scenario with real weapons and stuff clash with the mechanics of the game, especially because enemies on my level or around my level in the missions I should play take sometimes whole magazines until they die or even don't die after a whole magazine. I think that's not the f that's not fun for me because the other way around. You yourself die from around three to five hits. If some guy runs into your back and melees you, you're down instantly or nearly instantly. So I think that's a real problem that the enemies are such huge bullet sponges while your character feels like a sheet of paper. The second point is that um, I had some problems with the... With the controls because I feel that the cover system is I played cover based shooter already I for example played Rainbow Six uh, Vegas it was and there the cover system I thought was really well implemented but in the division I think it feels like you glue yourself to a surface and not going into cover behind it for example that you always have to press the cover button again to get out of the cover and can't just sprint away um, I for example wanted to hit the uh, sprint button on multiple times with my camera facing away from the cover so I did I just could sprint out of the cover but you have to pull, uh, push the cover button and then you can stand up and or your character stands up and then you can sprint. Uh, I think that's really something, okay, you can work this out. I assume that's something that they will, yeah, that they will fix in the future. But it adds to all these minor issues that I, that made the beta for me feel weird. The third, third point is that I didn't understand how the system of, yeah, leveling up works. I, I found weapons on multiple occasions with a rank limit, sometimes even a rank above the mine that I already had right at the point where I got the weapon. But why did these M4 that I got to the start of the beta, why did these weapons this weapon level with me the dps the damage per second which is the main number for me uh it is it, it looked like it was the main number and which you should judge your weapon why does the dps on this weapon raise if i level up that is something i couldn't grasp why did this happen I understand that all the other equipment like armor and such stuff can add damage to your yeah to your overall damage but there are occasions where I just leveled up I did not change any of my equipment and the M4 still got a buff in damage I 
didn't understand it. I played until rank 8 and it always happened. It was always the same. Yeah, and the last point, and for me the most annoying one, is I tried to do some PvP, but I felt that the PvP system was way too punishing for me. I played with an, another dude in my in my TeamSpeak, in my voiceover IP, and it was much easier for us to just keep grinding enemies and ex extract the the loot we got without fighting with other players. We even shared some helicopter extraction with other players without shooting anything and that defeats the point of a PvP zone for me. If it's so hard to, to get something via PvP that I easily get via not doing PvP in a PvP zone, then what the point in a PvP zone? You can just make it PvE and easy. No problem. Easy. Connected to that, to the dark zone, that's the yep. PvP zone. I have a question. Why is there in an exploration looting system a different rank for the PvP zone that you need to level up by grinding enemies before you even can loot some of the loot stashes? Okay, I get it, there is a, a starting PvP zone where the low level PvP guys are. So there should be loot stash around there that I can open immediately. Because going into this zone should be dangerous enough that you have to think about if you do so or if you don't. And if I found something that I want to open there, a, a, a loot stash, then I want to open it immediately and not see, oh, I'm, I'm PvP Dark Zone rank 5 now and I need rank 8. Yeah, now I have to grind 20 more enemies here in this zone. Yay. It just didn't fit again. It doesn't fit the, the setting because it's near realistic setting or nearly realistic setting. And why should I be able to open a crate when I kill an enemy that I couldn't open before? Did he got an intervention from, from God into his head? Hey, dude, you know how to open this crate, I can tell you. Or, or something like that. I, it's just, it just feels wrong in this game. Uh, it's a shame, but it feels wrong. I think you should do it really realistically. And so no ranks, no shot stuff, just progression, some exotic weapons that are maybe uh, side grades from other weapons or even really cut down on the ammunition so that you have to think about uh, do I want to shoot this guy or do, should I bring out my sword or something like that and try to stab him or my dagger. So I think these... Uh, maybe I did expect something more realistically from this game. Again, the main problem is setting and mechanics, they don't work with each other, they work against each other in this game for me. That's why I think this game will fall flat on his face. The immersion is so devastating, destroyed by the mechanics of this game, that I couldn't feel, feel into this game. It's, it's just a whatever game. I can play Diablo if I want that kind of gameplay loop.